Nikki, thank you. Florida saw another jump in new coronavirus cases, excluding a data dump the state reported in September. Florida saw its highest one day total since mid August today. The State Department of Health reported more than 6,200 new cases today. That is close to 2,000 more than yesterday's report. But the positivity rate went down slightly to 6.2%. So taking a closer look in central Florida, Orange County reported 360 new cases since yesterday. Brevard and Osceola saw 123 new cases. Lake County also reporting in triple digits and Seminole County added 80 cases. New 6's Troy Campbell spoke with a health leader there and in Osceola County about the latest numbers. It's not looking good right now. I mean, it is going the wrong direction. Seminole County Fire Department Medical Director Dr. Todd Husty says the current weekly average for single day COVID-19 cases in the county is 65 up from about 20 just one month ago. What's the problem? That we're kind of getting to, we're loosening up too much. Dr. Husty says the county is currently monitoring another 600 people who either have tested positive for COVID-19 or are awaiting test results. Data released Thursday by the Florida Department of Health shows another 80 new cases in Seminole County. As the Seminole County School District says, during the next few weeks, they will make a plan for what spring semester may look like for students with the goal of bringing back more students for in-person learning. We have to monitor the pandemic and the things that are going on currently with the way those numbers are. And we realize that there's going to be families that still want that Seminole Connect, our remote learning option. In Osceola County, the school district says on December 1st, the school board will likely discuss plans for next semester to see what distance learning options would be available. The Florida Department of Health in Osceola County says it continues to work closely with school officials. Uh, pandemic has presented us with a number of different challenges, but the point is that the communication and to making sure that we consistently update one another. The Florida Department of Education says it is considering suggestions and feedback from school districts before making any decisions. The state adds by mid-November they plan to have a clearer picture on what enrollment looks like and how that could impact the spring 2021 semester. Live in the newsroom tonight, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6. Matt. Troy, thank you.